it's Toby Fairley and today I'm bringing you some quick design tips with my mastermind members. I'm here with Kara Cox. So Kara, tell us a little bit about yourself. Toby, I'm a residential interior designer in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I specialize in high-end uh, interiors for families. And I know, I happen to know this about you, that you love bringing original art into your clients' homes. So give us a tip for how people can, can bring that original artwork for a unique look in their space. One thing they can do is really look at galleries and artists as they're traveling with their families, sometimes on vacation or at local galleries. Um, and see if there is a specific artist that they're drawn to. And so when you think artwork, you think original artwork, you think expensive sometimes. Is, do you have some tips for helping people bring in original works but that don't really break their bank or blow their budget? Right. Well, if the purpose of their art collection is not as an investment but to enhance their interiors, mm -hmm. a great way is to go with artists who are just emerging artists and young um, in the art scene. So sometimes design schools, art schools, mm -hmm. Galleries with emerging artists specifically are a good place to look. So um, a lot of people are afraid of galleries and intimidated by original artwork. Do you have one or two great tips or takeaways that people can um, use to not be afraid to go look for original works of art? Sometimes people are surprised at how affordable original art can be. Mm -hmm. And if they haven't been into a gallery and really done a lot of research, they may think that it's out of their budget, but it's sometimes not any more expensive than a piece that you would frame, you know, as a print. Yeah, like a mass-produced piece. Right. So talk to me a little bit about original artwork and your design style. Does If you're traditional, does your art have to be traditional? Does it have to match? How do you really bring the art and the interior together? Right. Well, I love to mix and match styles when I'm using art. And I really like to have more classic interiors. And if the client tends to be more traditional, I try to push them towards a little more contemporary artwork. Um, it may still have a traditional color palette, but mm -hmm. something like an abstract mm -hmm. can really work with any design style. Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice. So you've talked a little bit to me about commissions and how if you don't find what you're looking for, that you can actually have an artist paint something specifically for you. How does a client go about bringing a commissioned piece Piece into their home. Right. Well, sometimes the client may find a piece that they're really attracted to, but it's not the right size or the right colors for their interior. So I often work either with the client to find the right artist or with, directly with an artist to have a piece commissioned for their home. And so that is really just looking through an artist's style and saying, I really like this piece, but I want it in this size and these colors. And it's amazing what artists can create specifically for a space. So thanks everyone for joining us today for our quick mastermind tips with Kara Cox. I hope you got some great takeaways about how to use original artwork in your home. We'll see you next time.